Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Callahan Marshall. Just two weeks into the school year and teachers have been faced with more hurdles than usual. News Channel 9's Madison Moore sat down with the president of the Syracuse Teachers Association to learn the reality of what's going on inside the classroom and what teachers need to ensure to have a successful school year. Welcoming students back to the classroom full time was exciting and nerve wracking for most Syracuse teachers. But the obstacles they faced so far have been more than just COVID-19. Behaviors were definitely going to be escalated as you know, you haven't, they haven't had to be in a structured setting, following rules and complying with things. So I think everybody knew that was going to be challenging to begin with. And the school year is off to a rockier start than most could have imagined. Just last week, fights breaking out at Henniger High School, a canceled day of classes due to construction issues, plus a fire in the bathroom leading students to be sent home early. I think everybody right now is feeling a little defeated, and but I will say that this is not just a one building issue. It's not just a one school district issue, but it, it, it is a societal issue. Capsello crediting the recent uptick in youth violence and the staffing shortages as contributing factors. We are short staffed everywhere. And I mean, that is in every district countywide, but in, in every area of the building, you know, we were short custodians, we're short food service workers, we're short teachers, teaching assistants, administrators. And she believes the teachers she represents need more support. I think clear communication across all parties involved and a partnership with our community is is really what's going to get to the heart of things because it takes a village to not only raise but educate a child it's a work in progress it's not going to happen overnight And to help address one area of staffing shortages, Governor Hochul announced today steps to increase the number of school bus drivers across the state. The plan includes removing the 14-day waiting period between the permit test and the road test, adding more driving test sites, and using state resources to recruit more CDL drivers to become school bus drivers. Callahan?